In this video, we will discuss the components of sericulture that is the rearing of silkworm. So for this purpose, you first need to perform moriculture that is the cultivation of mulberry. So different species of mulberry can be cultivated and these include Morus alba, Morus indica, Morus serrata and Mor Morus latifolia. So almost 600 kg of leaves are required for rearing 20,000 eggs of silkworms because silkworms prefer to feed upon the mulberry leaves. Next is the rearing of silkworms. So first of all, the silkworm eggs are incubated. So incubation temperature is from 23 to 24 degrees centigrade. These eggs hatch on 10th day and the variations also exist in the timing of hatching. It can hatch from 7th to 14th day after incubation. Next is the larvae then feed on the mulberry leaves. These larvae mold four times, so there are five instar stages during the life cycle of silkworms. The final instar larvae spins a cocoon within the three days, and the cocoons are then collected and processed. Next is the temperature, humidity, and space requirements for the rearing of silkworms. As we have already discussed, that during ideal conditions, the silkworm spin cocoon within 24 to 28 days after hatching. So during this uh, rearing period, what are the temperature, humidity and space requirements according to the instar stages? So during first instar, the temperature requirement is 26 to 28 degrees centigrade with 85 to 90 percent relative humidity and the space requirement for 100 disease free layings is 4 to 14 square feet. During second instar stage, 26 to 28 degrees centigrade temperature is required with 85 to 90% relative humidity. And the space requirement for 100 disease free links in second instar is 15 to 45 square feet. During third instar stage, the temperature requirement changes and it is 25 to 26 degrees centigrade with relative humidity of 80 to 85 percent and the space requirement at this stage for 100 disease free layings is 46 to 90 square feet next during fourth instar stage 24 to 25 degrees centigrade temperature with 70 to 75 percent humidity is required and the space requirement for 100 disease free layings is 91 to 100 square feet during fifth and final instar stage, the temperature requirement is 24 to 23 to 24 degrees centigrade with 70% relative humidity and the space requirement for 100 disease free lengths during fifth instar is 181 to 360 square feet. So you can see that the temperature requirement and the relative humidity decreases with the successive instar stages and the space requirement increases. Next is the quantity of mulberry leaves required per kg during different instar stages. So during first instar stage, two to four kilograms of mulberry leaves are required. During second instar, four to eight kilograms of mulberry leaves are required. Third instar, 30 to 40 kilograms of mulberry leaves Next, in fourth instar stage, 80 to 90 kilograms of mulberry leaves are required. And next, in final instar, fifth instar stage, 600 to 650 kilograms of mulberry leaves are required for the rearing of silkworms. Next is the reeling of cocoons or processing. So the processing depends upon your purpose of sericulture. If you have uh, performed sericulture or silkworm rearing, for getting eggs for the purpose of getting eggs then allow the moth to emerge from the cocoon and lay eggs after mating so if you have uh, performed sericulture for the purpose of silk then kill the moth in hot water before emergence and uh, perform further processing of the cocoon processing of cocoons the processing of cocoons is basically performed in various steps that include first of all harvesting it means uh, to harvest the cocoons that have been spent by the uh, silkworm larvae. Next is stifling. Stifling is basically killing the pupa inside the cocoon and uh, 
uh, sorting basically means that um, goods uh, you have to sort the good sized cocoons that are 8 to 10 days old and then select these cocoons for further processing stifling can be basically done by using hot water steam dry heat exposure to sun or fumigation next is boiling of the cocoons and then deflossing deflossing is basically the removal of soft and uh, uh, loose layer of silk filament from the cocoons and uh, uh, next is reeling reeling is basically the removal of threads from the killed for this purpose the cocoons are cooked in hot water at 95 to 97 degrees centigrade for about 10 to 15 minutes and uh, this result in softening the adhesion of silk threads so next is the twisting and dyeing. Twisting and dyeing it means that twisting the silk thread that has been extracted from the cocoon and dyeing means the process of coloring the silk thread. Next is weaving is basically the crafting of the silkworm threads to form fabrics by interlacing the silk threads.